team on the road, winning mm -hmm. nine in a row, now ten. Uh, you know the defense is going to be inspired, Cowboys-wise, uh, going against uh, DeMarco Murray. Uh, but the Eagles cannot get out their way. The first game, they had mm. seven or eight penalties offensively. They need to fix that uh, part of the football team. Defensively, the same issues that have been plaguing this team since basically Coach Johnson has been uh, has died, passed away. Mm -hmm. They've always struggled defensively, and they're getting even worse today. You're talking about Maxwell not being able to cover. They've completed anything they wanted in the first game on the right side. It came back this week, and when Whedon <clears throat> making a great throw in the red zone, a little post route to uh, Terrence. So the same issues defensively that are plaguing this football team, they need to fix that. They don't pressure the quarterback as much as they did last year. But offensively, that's really where the issues are. You get Murray, and you expect Murray to be the downhill runner that we saw last year in Dallas. They're running from a shotgun. That's not what he likes to do. That's not his style. Usually in a shotgun, they have McCoy, a guy who's able to make guys miss, who's slippery. Mm -hmm. That's not uh, Murray's type of uh, running philosophy. They did an outstanding job on Sproles, Dallas Cowboys did, they uh, did. yesterday. They were inspired mm -hmm. defense. So this can be fixed, but they first have to fix the point of running the football effectively. They well, need I, to find how? out. And again, you're going to install the I formation. No, they don't. They don't need to install the I formation. But offensive line wise, you need to do a better job of selling, giving him a hole where he can hit the hole and not go from sideline to sideline. And Chip Kelly has been successful everywhere he's been. He's going to be able to change up and make sure that his <coughs> running back that he got from Dallas is able to help his football team. And the only way he's able to do that is by offensive line and getting some holes where he can run straight up and down the field. Eric Allen. <coughs> I need you and folks outside of Skip Bayless. I'm talking about people that played in the NFL mm -hmm. to find success for me. I understand where you and I are coming from. But with all due respect, I am getting sick and tired of people telling me that Chip Kelly was successful. Chip Kelly won football games. Chip Kelly never won a national championship. Right. Chip Kelly missed the playoffs last year. Chip Kelly is a good football coach. But right. I do believe that we have the right to sit there and say or distinguish, rather, the difference between being a winner and being good. Mm -hmm. There is a difference. Do I think Chip Kelly is a good coach? Mm -hmm. Yes, the record mandates. <clears throat> even though they didn't make right. the playoffs last year, even though they won three of their last, they lost three of their last four regular season games, and they now have lost five of their last six regular season games when you consider the fact that they're 0-2 right now. There is no arguing that in two seasons in Philadelphia, Chip Kelly is 10 and 6 both seasons. Yep. He ain't 6 and 10. So we're going to sit there and give him credit where credit is deserved and say right. he's a good coach. But there's a difference between being good and being a winner. Mm -hmm. And I have yet to see Chip Kelly validate that he is a winner. So now we look at the fact that he is no longer in college and he's on the NFL level. And now he's controlling stuff because he's the de facto GM, essentially. And he's calling the shots in terms of getting guys guys out there well or getting guys on your squad you brought Bry Byron Maxwell into the mix yep. paid him over 60 million <clears throat> I remember you Eric I know you could play mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know you know when somebody is a bit overrated right. at that cornerback spot for sure can I get an amen on you, Byron you Maxwell? Oh, you can. Say it. Say, yeah. say it with me. I'm, say amen. I'm t amen. There we go. Because he the, is struggling just like the rest there of the corners. There we go. All right. So, 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 in that well, I understand concept. that, but I'm not going to get on Walter Thurman the third and other cats. They want not pay $60 million. Right, right. And the he was. The he was. actually right. playing pretty good. Th that's right. Now you got to <laughs> skip the problem with your inside linebacker spot. Kiko Alonso, mm. fresh off of two ACL injuries, you decided to bring him in Philadelphia. Yeah. He had that left knee bothering him in training camp. Put him out there anyway, he injured again. Mikel Kendricks, he's now out. He's yep. got a problem. He's your inside linebacker. Okay, let's switch to the offensive side. That's just defense. That's just defense. That's just, that's just defense. Who's that's been just, struggling that's for just, a couple who's years. Who's been struggling for a couple, couple yeah. of years now. Yeah. Couple of years now. Not right. two months, two years. Yeah. So we're going to get that out the way. Now we go to the offensive side yeah. of the ball. Evan Mathis is gone because mm -hmm. you want to rescind an offer that you made to him to pump up the back end of his contract. You sit there and say, we want to rely on this offensive line. Backups and Gardner and Barbary and these boys, you relying on them, you can't block, okay? You got a north-south runner, you asking to run east and west. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the Eagles offense, and you know what I see? What do you see? Softies. Softies. That's right.
talking about DeMarco Murray. I'm talking about cumulatively. I'm talking about a mm. unit. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not calling him soft. Jordan Matthews can ball. Yes. He's an elite number two. Yeah. Just a little bit shy of being number one. He need another year or so. Mm -hmm. All right? Don't talk to me about Riley Cooper. Mm -hmm. Damn it, he need no. to be on the offensive line because all he does is block. Right. Remember? That's the first time we learned that the criteria for the wide receiver was blocking instead of catching passes. Remember, we didn't know that until Chip Kelly right. came along, okay? So I'm just looking at these guys, Aguilar and these boys. They got to prove something. They do. First two weeks, the Eagles' last point, Eagles were scoreless in five of the of the first eight quarters of this season mm -hmm. with that high-powered offense. You know why? Atlanta punched them in the mouth in the first half. The Cowboys punched them in the mouth high in the first three quarters. From, we're talking, you're talking high-powered. They're not high-powered anymore. That's where we no, no, need to... I, no, I agree they, with that. They, they lost their explosiveness, okay? Two years ago, Deshaun Jackson, the guy who can top, break the top off, he was too small, too whatever for you in the locker room. I get room. that, Eric. They need to find a way to get back to running the football. I want to bring Skip in here. I want to bring Skip in here. All I'm saying is this. For the first two quarters against Atlanta and the first three quarters... and you don't respond, that's usually the definition of soft. Now, I could be wrong, Skip, but all I know is whatever hood you want to pick, white, Hispanic, black, whatever, what, what's known as soft is when somebody punches you in your face or in your mouth and you have no response. That is what the Eagles have been for five quarters. Check those that penalties. is a fact. Check those penalties. So, 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 yeah, too many dagger penalties. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is Philadelphia Eagles. So when you're trying to punch somebody in the mouth and someone's holding you back, okay, okay. that's penalties. All I'm right, holding them all back. All right, all right. You can say that. Go ahead, Skip. All right. Go Let's ahead. hold that thought, Skip. We don't want to cut you off and we need to take a break. So we will revisit your side when we return here on first take. Keep it here. Skip no softies. Mm. <laughs> hold